Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So, long time no see. This is gonna be a little miscellaneous vlog, I guess. We'll see what I do in this video. Um, but I thought I would just pop in and say, hey. <laughs> hey. Anyway, so now I'm doing my laundry because I work tomorrow and I have to get a bunch of stuff like together for work. I gotta make sure my uniform is clean, make sure everything is packed, like my work bag and all that fun stuff. So, and I think I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves in this video because it's, it's time for it to be rearranged. So, do with that with what you will. Do with that information what you will. But this is gonna be like a few, maybe like a week of my life kind of ish few days in my life vibe you know i hate laundry i really fucking hate laundry but on the bright side i'm home alone all week both my parents are out of town for the next like 12 days and i have the house to myself they also took the dog with them or my mom took the dog with her and my dad's working so he's not here also and so I literally have the whole house to myself and I'm excited but sad because then I have to entertain myself and cook myself dinner <laughs> and I'm really sad about it but it starts today it's going to be a very boring week I literally work I work and I work some more and oh i also wanted to mention that i have successfully been on a book buying band for about a month now i'm trying to go to the new year but i have a feeling i'm going to be breaking that very very soon but yell at me to not do that because i can easily read the books that i want to buy on my kindle for free but i want the physical copy but I'm trying to get through my TBR. It's a fantasy series and I have so many fantasy books on my TBR at the moment that I'm really trying to get through them. But I'm really in a fantasy mood and none of the fantasy I have is like calling to me. So we'll go through our options in a minute. I still have to do, I still have to finish. I have one more book in the Gold Rush ranch series by elsie silver so i'm trying to finish that first before i go into fantasy so that can be done so that's the that's the update and today i went to barnes but again i didn't buy anything and going to barnes when you're on a book buying van is like the ultimate test of self-control and I would just like to say that I passed, okay? That I did not buy a book, even though I wanted to. And I'm very proud of myself. So I just had to document that because, you know, it's the small things in life. Especially because I'm a compulsive buyer and I will buy a book in like a heartbeat. I think I bought, in the past few months, I think I bought one book, at least one book, a week since like may so it was time because my tbr was being like was like suffocating me of how long it was and i'm slowly 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 getting through it a little bit which is a miracle in itself because you know i never stick to my tbr and I never stick to my physical TBR because I have Kindle Unlimited, so I will drop anything to read a book on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm really trying to get to the physical first, and then I can go back to the Kindle, and then I can buy some more. So wish me luck. And I'm gonna finish putting away this laundry. And finish my to-do list for the night because I got some things that I need to accomplish before I 
move on with my life. It is 7 p.m. and I'm currently finishing The Front Runner. You can't really see because it's dark in here. The Front Runner by Elsie Silver. It is technically the last day of November and I will be done with this by tonight. I have like a little less than 100 pages. Um, I already included it in my wrap up that I filmed earlier today so when you see this video which is after my wrap up you'll see my video about this and yeah so I'm just going to sit here finish this um, I'm watching Sister Wives because it's entertaining to me don't ask me why um, and yeah it's really my plans for the rest of the night I got everything ready for work tomorrow and now I can relax so. <laughs> finished The Front Runner by Elsie Silver and instead of reading the last book in the Gold Rush Ranch series like I originally planned I'm going to read Onyx and Ivory which is the first in this little YA fantasy duology by Mindy Arnett because I need to switch it up a little bit and yeah I'm gonna read this for a little bit it's about like 9 p.m. and then I'm gonna go to bed because I have to work tomorrow which is not fun but yeah that's the update and i will see you guys tomorrow goodbye <sighs>
and she republished the first four and the next two are going to be in the new covers and I have the independently published versions and I have the alternate covers that she also independently published but neither of those two editions are being continued for the rest of the series so we had to start from scratch and the only only reason I pre-ordered all four and t the next one that's coming out in April is because um, a couple months ago when Barnes & Noble was having like the Barnes pre-order sale, I pre-ordered like nine books because I had a gift card. So that's where that's coming from. So it counts. It, ha it doesn't count towards my book buying ban because I pre-ordered and doesn't count towards my bank account because I used a gift card. So yes. And then what I opened for my mother is she bought these two, um, like keychains so this is her name Yannette and obviously this is me today for our um like pickleball bags <laughs> because we're a pickleball family I guess I mean I don't play as religiously as she does but she thought it would be a cute accessory for my bag and then I opened these um and then I opened this package and these this funky chunky popcorn so this is nutty ch choco pop and this one's peanut butter cup. And I have no idea where my mother got these, but this is what I opened, so. Yeah, and now I'm going to eat dinner, so. Oh, the Christmas tree just came on. Let me show ya. Look how pretty she is. Isn't she gorge? Can you even see me? Hold on. Kind of dark in my room okay so long time no update so it's currently sunday it's like 8 p.m and i got a, i had work today i worked yesterday and i don't think i logged anything but i worked like all day and i worked really late and then i worked today and i got off at like 4 30 maybe and I, you know, had dinner, took a shower, all that. And I've just been catching up on Vlogmas because Vlogmas has started. It's the best time of the year. And no, I'm not doing Vlogmas. I wish I had that capability, but I don't. It's okay. Um, but I just finished watching Vlogmas videos. And now I'm going to continue reading my book. So I'm reading Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. To describe this book... Basically, they call her traitor Kate, Kate Brit Breton. Her father tried to assassinate the High King and then like a threat like starts, like they're kind of like dragons and they start like attacking people, blah, blah, blah. And she has to team up with the son of the king that her father tried to kill and they used to be like best friends and they grew up together and like obviously they haven't seen each other in years because he she was exiled because her father's a traitor um and it's a duology so this is the first one i'm going to be filming when I reorganized the bookshelf. So if I just turn you over there, there's my lovely bookshelf. Nice little pan. <laughs> You're on a tripod, so I can't really move you. But I have a big stack of books on my dresser. My nightstand, wow. I have a big stack of books on my nightstand that somehow have to fit on the bookshelf. So on Tuesday or Wednesday, that's my goal, is to rearrange that bookshelf to fit those books that I've read the past couple months. Because I have no room on the bookshelf currently. So we gotta rearrange. So. Good night. Okay, I'm back. Today is Tuesday and I have a dentist appointment. And the last time I had a dentist appointment, I had a cavity and I'm kind of traumatized. So 
wish me luck and my plan for today it's already two dentist appointment nails gas Publix and then later today I'm hanging out with my friend Elaney. And then tomorrow I also have the day off from work. So I'll do Barnes and I'll reorganize my bookshelf. And that's the agenda for the next couple days. And then I work obviously after that. So I don't, do not want to go into this dentist appointment right now. I'd rather like be anywhere else. So. Again, wish me luck, and I'll let you know if we have if I have any cavities. So, okay, I'm getting gas. Give me one second. Why is everybody staring at me? It's really humbling filming in public. Anyway, my nails is dark blue. And I'm going to get Chick-fil-A for a late lunch because I'm starving. And I don't want to wait another second mm -hmm. and my teeth still feel shitty because I fucking hate fluoride but I don't know why my car door is closed because it's kind of hot in here but I'm gonna go now so goodbye <laughs> You wanna say hi? Hey. Guys, this is Elaney. You guys met her before. But I'm gonna give you a Target haul and I'm forcing her to be on video. But she loves me, so it's okay. So, sad day. I broke my book buying van. <laughs> but there's a perfectly good reason as to why. And so I'm gonna show you that reason, okay? So first, I got Never by Jessa Hastings, and this just came out, and I bought it. Enough said. And then, I got the first book in the From Blood and Ash series, and this, like, cover is only available at Target, and it was really pretty, and I was already breaking my book buying ban, so, like, what was one more, you know? And then, the book that I went into Barnes for, and they weren't there because they refused to ask for help, um, is Betting on you by lynn painter and i've been waiting for this book for months and it's finally here and i had it at target so i bought it oh and then i bought pens to annotate with but they're colorful so like a black a red i can't see the other colors a green a purple a blue because i only have black pens and sometimes i like to switch it up so i did and that is what I broke my book buying band for. So, those were approved purchases. 
again it's not every day that again I went into Barnes and I was looking for never and I also didn't I also didn't find it in Barnes even though it said in stock at my Barnes whatever it lied the app lied to me I know but then I walked into Target and they were both sitting right there so if that's not a sign then I don't know what is and if you have a problem with it don't tell me because I'm sensitive thank you <laughs> Not that anybody comments on my YouTube videos, but just like don't tell me. Thank you. And um, now we have to figure out what we're going to do for dinner because we're hungry. But me and Eleni are both very indecisive people mm -hmm. and we're both indec we're very indecisive together. Especially since there's also so many options. This is true. Like, how do you choose just one? I know. Tough life we live. I know. And I also had a really late, I had a late lunch. I had like Chick-fil-A at like 4 p.m. Yeah, I ate a snack while I was coming up here. What was your snack? Popcorn. Oh. <laughs> it was really good. I love, no, I was in the dentist. She was like, oh, and you know when she like, you have like, like water floss? Yeah. Before they start the cleaning and they like pick at your teeth. She was like, oh, there's a popcorn cart on it. <laughs> To die of embarrassment. I actually wanted to like disintegrate in that moment. Yeah. I was like, they <laughs> thank you for letting me know. <laughs> and then I was so embarrassed. Like how, I didn't even feel it. Like normally you feel it, but it was like yeah. stuck up in there apparently because I had no idea. But the dentist, my hygienist, was like, oh, you had a popcorn kernel in your teeth. I was like, <laughs> man, no. How embarrassing is that? Like, I wanted to die. I actually wanted to be like, and when did I have popcorn? Like, two days ago. <laughs> it wasn't like it was yesterday. It wasn't like it was yeah. this morning. It was two days ago. What did you say? I just, I just kind of laughed. I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I was just like, had it. No, I was I mean, just like, ha ha ha. Because she like made a joke about it or something. And she's like, oh, look, popcorn kernel. And I was like, ha ha ha. <laughs> I couldn't really talk because my mouth was obviously open and yeah. she had like the suction thing in my mouth so I couldn't really respond but I was kind of just like ha 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 he 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 like, <laughs> like oh then you really had to point that out like, you want to keep it why would you say something about it I was like oh isn't that lovely isn't that nice so that's my story and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna get for dinner so Woo. goodbye <laughs> okay I decided to put the books up there now to see what it looks like and then if I have to like rearrange the whole thing tomorrow because I kind of want to see them up there and I kind of got like a burst of energy even though it's 10 45 p.m but I don't work tomorrow so I can sleep in so enjoy this montage <laughs> the last day of this vlog but I completely forgot to show you the rest of me reorganizing my bookshelf because I know I filmed some of it maybe Tuesday night and then I think Wednesday all day or Wednesday like morning I redid it again <laughs> and I didn't film any of it and today is it's currently Friday. It's actually Friday like nighttime and it's dark now so I might just show you like do a little tour of it tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to say hi and <laughs> um, and let you know that I'm the worst and that I forgot to film the rest of me redoing my bookshelf but I'm actually like obsessed with it and I say that every time but like I like you know when you just like get it right I got it right so it took a couple tries so that's probably why I forgot to film it because I literally I think rearranged it 
like five or six times in a span of two days and um, yes I will definitely show you guys tomorrow I, I finished Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett and I actually rated her four stars I actually like really enjoyed it for hearing nothing about it and kind of just like randomly selecting it on the barn shelf for it to be a four star is pretty good in my opinion and I just started Shadow and Flame so this is the second book in this little duology and I'm only like 70 pages in to Shadow and Flame so I don't really have thoughts thoughts yet but in like the first 20 pages she really really had me there she really had me in the first 20 pages because I thought someone died but they are alive no worries do not fret <laughs> and that's the update and i will show you my bookshelf my updated bookshelf tomorrow let's hope i don't tweak it again i don't think i will because i spent a really long time the next predicted the next predicament that i'm just having is that i just like don't have enough space and i really need to build some more shelves on this side of the wall um because i have a bunch of books like under the bookcase just like stacked in rows and those need to be put somewhere i just have nowhere to put them as of right now okay i just realized that i never showed the finished product of my bookshelf so it doesn't look very different but i noticed the difference so i'm gonna give you a quick little rundown so the top is all my hardbacks and they're all fantasy. The next one is some of my favorite series. So I have like Magnolia Parks. I have Brutal um, Prince. I have the new covers of The Deal. I have all my Lauren Asher books. I have all my Elsie Silver books. And then the next row is my Sarah J. Maas shelf. So I have Throne of Glass, Akatar, and Crescent City, obviously. And then on this... The next one, I have the original covers of The Deal and Briar You, Twisted, and the Twisted series by Anna Hong. I have the Addicted Calloway series. I have my Debney Perry books. I have Mafia, which is the Dark Verse and the Maid series by Danielle Laurie. And then I have my beautiful, discreet covers of Boys of Tommen. I have my regular covers of Boys of Tommen. I have Kingsmakers by Sophie Lark. I have the Ember and the Ashes series. And then the next one is Zoic Academy. And then I have Daughter of No World by Carissa Broadbent. And then the last shelf is all my YA series. So I have The Inheritance Gang, Cruel Prince, Caraval, Prison Healer, um, all my Leah Bardugo books, Dance of Thieves, Shades of Magic, and the Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee. And then the bottom of all my miscellaneous oops, is all my miscellaneous books. I don't necessarily have a spot right now. And then to the left, that's all my TBR cart. And then those stacks over there are also my TBR books. And that's my that's my shelf. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. So, bye!